Android P's first developer preview landed earlier this week, so now that we've had some time to play with it, let's take a look at its top 5 features. First, let's take a closer look at Android's new screenshot editor, Markup. This handy tool lets you quickly crop and edit screenshots with drawing tools. To use it, you simply need to take a screenshot and then tap the edit button that appears in the screenshots notification. From there, just select Markup and you're good to go. Another pretty big new feature in Android P is the upgraded volume slider. Not only has its location and design changed, but Google has added a new shortcut for changing the ringer mode. Further, there's a new media output section that makes it easier to switch between wireless audio options. Android P also gives a big focus to cleaning up and updating the operating system's overall look and feel. This is especially clear in the notification tray and quick settings. The notifications themselves have a rounded shape and the quick settings get a similar redesign. If you ask me, it's a pretty awesome new look, especially when you trigger the dark mode. Android P also redesigns the settings menu in a similar way. The same white color scheme is at play, but with some colorful new icons. It's clear that there was some inspiration from Samsung here, but Google's implementation is much cleaner. Now lastly, we'll take a quick look at what is easily my favorite feature in Android P so far. Hidden on the navigation bar, there's a new button that shows up to help you with rotation. If your auto-rotate setting is locked to a specific orientation, and you rotate the phone, this button appears and forces rotation to the orientation you're holding the phone until you say otherwise. It's super convenient and a great idea. But what about you? What's your favorite Android P feature? Drop a comment down below and let us know, and be sure to head over to 9to5google.com to check out the rest of our coverage on Android P.